All right, everybody, we got the big, big finish today. We're gonna do a single replacement reaction. So 42.15 grams of zinc is reacted with this much milliliters of a 1.436 molar hydrochloric acid solution. Uh-oh, what's hydrochloric acid? HCl, we have to know that, people. And zinc is just zinc. No ion here. This says zinc, right? That is not a cation. If there was a word after it, then it's a cation. There's no word after it. There's a word is. That's not part of a formula. All right. So give a balanced reaction for formation of hydrogen in this single replacement reaction. So there's our two reactants. Zinc is reacting with HCl. Oh, it didn't say anything about states. Oh. If it doesn't say anything about states, I don't have to put states. Good. Do you want me to make it with states? Because you never know on the test. Yes, we want to make it with states. Give states zinc. If I if I gave you the name of a metal. There's only one metal that's not a solid. Which one is that? Mercury. Every other metal is a solid. So you write what? You put a solid. Hydrochloric acid solution. Hey, what solutions dissolved in what? Water. What do you put? Yes, sir. Now, it's a single replacement that's going to make hydrogen gas, right? Yeah, hydrogen. Formation of hydrogen. When you say hydrogen in this class, it's not just H, is it? Yeah, have no fear of ice cold beer. It's one of those words. And it is a, it's not dissolved. No, it's a bubble. It's gas. Now you got to figure out what ion zinc will become. Zinc's one of our ions you have to know. It's going to be zinc chloride, yes. So, Zinc chloride. What is the ion for zinc? Because I, I know the ion for Cl chloride is Cl minus. Zinc and cadmium are both two plus. Zinc and cadmium there. Zinc and cadmium on the periodic table. There's silvers next door. It's one plus. Yep. So what's the formula for zinc chloride? Do a crossover on zinc two plus and zinc uh, Cl minus. CL2. And uh, solubility table would be a activity we did a little while ago. A long time ago. We had a solubility table earlier today. Why am I not seeing it? Didn't I copy it? I got rid of the period. Yeah. That's sad. Well, Zinc chloride is aqueous. I'm not asking about a precipitate, am I? Okay. Is it balanced? No. Oh, wow. I love when the balancing involves one number only. The chlorides are messed up, right? Zincs look good. Zinc looks good. Chloride, there's only one here, and there's two there. You get a big fat two, put it here. And I believe you're done. The hydrogens just took care of themselves, too. I like it. So calculate theoretical yield in moles for uh, in hydrogen from each reactant. Ah, uh, yeah, B. So one of the reactants is zinc. And you took 42.15 grams of it. You can't go moles to moles until you have moles. That makes sense at all. Never would have thought. We got to get the moles first. Got to get rid of grams and get me some moles. Hey, as soon as I have ratio of moles over grams or grams over moles, my eyes are going to the periodic table. And I don't know. I can't see zinc at all. So I got nothing on this one. Say it again. Four sig figs. 65.39. Uh, 
Oh, that's one mole for 65.39. Careful. One mole for 65.39 grams. So two thirds of a mole here. I need a little more specific though. Six four four. I could have gone straight to my final answer, right? That's just moles of one substance. Now I can use coefficients to get rid of moles zinc and get me moles H2. That's the gas, right? What's in front of the H2? What's in front of the zinc? Uno a uno. Uno a uno. Work on my Spanish. I got the answer for you. I'll put it right here. I'm gonna go to four sig figs. That could be our theoretical yield. It might not be. Depends on if it's bigger or smaller than the mole of H2 for the other chemical. So there we go. That's zinc. Now we gotta do HCl. Same deal. You have the information to go to moles, but you got to show me you know that you can't use moles per liter unless you have liters. One liter for every 1,000 millis, 0 0.03462 liters. 0 0.03462 liters times. 1.436 moles per liter. Yeah. That's going to be not a lot of moles. I, I have a feeling this one's going to be my limiting reactant. You want to, do you want to go straight to the answer? Let's do it. Times one mole H2 for how many moles of HCl? Don't have the balance equation. Yeah, we do. It's right above. There's a two. It's tiny. I will pause. All right, let's catch you up with all the stuff I did while I was yammering away, forgetting I hadn't restarted the video. What we did was we figured out that HCl was that many liters from up here. And then we multiply by the molarity, which is moles per liter, right there. And we figured out that there's one mole of H2 formed for two moles HCl. So I skipped writing down the moles in the middle this time. And now I've got this many moles of H2 produced, which is a much smaller number than this one. This one comes from the excess. That means this was excess. So that number is uh, useless. The 0.6446 is useless. The smaller number of product moles comes from the limiting HCl. And we need a, a number here so we have a good question. I don't know yet. Ooh, I think I want to cancel and pause. All right, everybody, I have what I think is a reasonable number. Uh, 0.412 milliliters of hydrogen gas was actually produced, I should have written in there, just to make it clear. Uh, was actually produced. In this class, I try to make sure every time it's an actual thing, I write the word actual. All right? Sorry again? Did I already have the word actual in there? The actual yield, it's right there, Jeez. I was covered already. Double, double covered. All right, so we have milliliters made. We have to count, we have to compare that to theoretical moles. So it's a gas, right? I gave you all the information you need to get to moles. 
Remember the equation for a gas that's in one state is PV equals NRT. So that's a given. PV equals NRT is a given. I can figure out N. PV over RT. And the P is 1.123 ATM. Oh, you got to be given R as well. Liter atmosphere, mole Kelvin. So in this box is what you're given. All right, so we have PV. P uh, was 1.123 ATMs. V was point, wow, not much. Point, I gotta move the decimal. How many times to go from uh, milliliters to liters? Should show our work. Yeah. Okay. One liter. Looks like you move it three times. Zero point oh eight two one. Liter atmosphere mole Kelvin. Don't forget parentheses down here. Uh, plus two seven three two nine five point two one K. Two nine five point two one K. So I need this worked out. Here, because that's going to be the actual yield. You were told you made actually uh, 4 point, uh, 0.412 milliliters of stuff. I can figure out, I gotta figure out moles. H2. Should I pause? Yes. Yeah. All right, we're back. Uh, we worked out that the moles should be point a lot. Uh, very small. I was extra cautious with my number here. Point quadruple zero one nine oh eight nine. And she was telling me, well, she didn't tell me. She told me that. Sorry. Now I'm telling you, percent is actual over theoretical point oh two four eight. Five seven one six, and you know you're in good place because the units match. And I will pause, and we'll have an answer that's going to be a paltry percent yield. The big finish. This was a terrible percent yield. We got point zero seven six nine percent. You would be fired. So I, I surmised that there was a gas leak, a leak and that hydrogen volume was incorrectly measured i'm just saying and that's it for today and time to start studying if you haven't done so already <laughs>